Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Nier Agaku. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this tabletop role-playing game based on Nier Automata, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the A-Pants system. The Android Pool and Number Target System, A-Pants, is a D12 based system. The basic idea behind it is very straightforward. You roll a number of d12s equal to the type of action you wish to perform, and then compare each result to the chosen style. So you have verb and adverb. For every die that comes up equal to or lower than your style, you score one success. The number of successes is then compared against a difficulty as set by the game master. The game master should tell you what the difficulty is prior to your roll. By default, all tasks have a difficulty of one meaning you must roll one or more successes to pass. Difficulty can range in value from 0 to 6 as follows. For example, a straightforward task is of difficulty 1. This is something an average character can succeed at. A challenging task is set at 3 difficulty. A character with special expertise will pass this most of the time. But when it comes to a nearly impossible task, this is difficulty 6. Succeeding at such a task is the stuff of legends. Even if you attempt a style of action at which you are unskilled, meaning you only have a score of 1, you may still attempt a task. You reverse your action and style scores, allowing you to roll a single d12 against the relevant action. This permits all characters the ability to attempt and or assist other players at tasks they are not skilled in. For the number crunchers out there, this is able to prevent needless crit fishing, where you would only roll to get a critical. Up to one other actor can assist a character on the roll. The assisting actor must explain to the game master how they are aiding the main actor, performing the main role. Should the game master judge this explanation acceptable, the assisting actor rolls a single d12 against the relevant style. A success adds on to those rolled by the main actor. The game master can decide that a given task will succeed no matter the number of successes rolled. However, this means that failing to get the requisite number of successes means that the game master can introduce a negative effort or flavor to the result. They can also opt to take two risk. We will talk about that meta currency later. When it comes to criticals, if two or more dice roll as a one, and there are enough successes to pass the difficulty, then a critical success has been achieved. Either the actor doing the rolling or the game master may add additional positive effects and flavor to their success. If two or more dice roll as a 12, but there are still enough successes to pass the difficulty, then a messy critical has been achieved. Either the actor doing the rolling or the game master may apply additional negative effects and flavor to their success. Alternatively, the game master can opt to take two risks as well. If two or more dice roll as a 12, and there are not enough successes to pass the difficulty, then a complication has occurred. Either the actor doing the rolling or the game master may add negative effects and flavor to their failure. Alternatively, the game master can opt to take two risks again. In the event that multiple 1s and multiple 12s have been rolled, and the overall result is still a success, then both the effects of a critical success and a messy critical apply. In other words, you must add both a positive and a negative effect to your success. When it comes to opposing roles, these occur whenever two actors are working against one another in some fashion, such as during combat. Each actor must choose a style which they then keep secret from their opponent until both actors have chosen. They then reveal simultaneously which style they have picked. The game master should then consult the chart. An arrow in the chart indicates that a given style has an advantage over another. For example, performing an action skillfully has an advantage over executing an action quickly. This is represented by allowing the actor with the advantage, should one be present, to roll an additional d12 in their dice pool. It is advised that the game master facilitate a way for each actor to choose their opposing style without knowledge or means of guessing their opponents, especially if the game master is rolling on the behalf of a non-player character. 
there is something to be said for having a good poker face. Should both actors end up with the same number of successes, then both of their actions succeed in a cross counter. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about meta currency and combat. The system is good, but as role players may have noticed, the explanation is not exactly adequate. Instead of saying explanation, they should say description. You describe things or narrate things to the game master. Also, I don't think it's a good idea to indicate the difficulty of a challenge or task before the player making the role or choosing the action because maybe the player gets into analysis paralysis. Oh, that's too difficult. Can I attempt to do this instead? And then the game master would say, yes, the difficulty is this. And the player, oh, that's still too difficult. Can I attempt to do this instead? So you're going to be breaking immersion. Instead of describing your actions, you're going to be playing a mother may I guessing game. The same applies when you are describing how you're going to assist other characters. The game master could say, no, you cannot do that. And that's not favorable. Again, it breaks immersion. The player should attempt his or her action and then there will be consequences, that's it. Thank you for watching this part of the review and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you. And see you later.